in the present class discuss the question that is the most probable question in the examination that is uh, what is meant by agency and uh, discuss the modes of uh, creation of agency so here in our uh, present class we are going to discuss with regard to the this question and also the most probable question in the examination is discuss agency and uh, discuss the modes of uh, cancellation of agency so these uh, the questions are most probable questions in the law exams either they may ask with regard to the modes of creation of agency or they may ask with regard to the termination of agency here the the question with regard to the the what is meant by agency that is common question so in that way the question may be asked in the law exams with regard to the the law students here they will ask you with regard to the what is contract of agency so with regard to the the contract of agency with regard to that questions the agency has not defined in the indian contract act but it has defined the who is an agent that means who is an agent so who is an principal that is here we here we can get what to call here with regard to the agent the definition has been given but with regard to the agency the definition has not been given in the indian contract act so here with regard to the, that one what we have to do with regard to the how to write the uh, the concept with regard to the contract of agency means we have to write uh, who is an agent that means uh, that is uh, that uh, we know who is an agent and uh, who is a principal we could be able to write uh, uh, with regard to the uh, the aspect of the agent and principal so under section 182 of the indian contract act the agent has been defined that is an agent is a person employed to do any act for another or to represent another in dealings with the third person it is another means here stands as a principal here who is a principal we know we know that that with regard to the who, who will be a principal so with regard to the that aspect here uh, when the question has been asked what is an agency then what is a contract of agency then three things uh, we have to write with regard to the the concept of agency that is one is uh, essentials of agency and uh, next one is uh, principles of uh, agency and the test of agency so these three things we have to cover with regard to the the concept of uh, what is contract of agency that you know what are all the essentials of the agency that means uh, there should be an agreement between the principal and the agent and uh, we have to uh, discuss with regard to the capacity of parties even uh, under this capacity of parties uh, uh, we can uh, uh, even a, a minor can can also he can act as the agent and uh, who can become the principal here a minor cannot become a principal but he should be of uh, sound mind he should be major so those things uh, we are going to see under uh, this concept of uh, essentials of agency and with regard to the what are all the principles of agency means so under principles of agency we have to discuss with regard to the one maxim that is qui facit per alium facit per se that means he who does an act through another does it by himself that means it means that the act of an agent are deemed to be the act of the principal we have to discuss this aspect the best i am telling you what are all the things we should cover with regard to the what is meant by agency what is meant by contract of agency means we have to cover the aspects of essential service agency and we have to write something with regard to the principles of agency and we have to write a very important thing is that is a test of agency so what should be the test of uh, uh, to prove that uh, there the agency exists so the test is that to determine the existence of agency it has to be seen that whether the agent 
who has been appointed by the principal has got the authority to bind the principal for his acts. Whether the agent could be able to bind the principal for the acts with the third parties. So, so the, we have to discuss the test of agency. Here, the case law of uh, Loon Karan uh, versus John and Company. It is very much relevant. So, we have to discuss these concepts with regard to the contract of agency. That means we have to say something with regard to the, the fiduciary relationship uh, uh, between the, uh, the principal and the agent. How the agent has to work. So, this is with regard to the contract of agency. That means, here, with regard to that question, that is the uh, common. What is contract of agency? Then, and uh, in examination, they will ask you, discuss the modes of creating agency. That means, that is the additional question with regard to the the mode of creating agency or method of creating agency. Here, with regard to the, what is the mode of creating agency? What is meant by, uh, how the, 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 the agency can be created? So that, that, that with regard to that aspects, we have to see certain aspects before going to the, the concept of modes of agency. Here, when any one party delegates some authority to another party, whereby the latter performs his action in a more or less independent fashion on behalf of the first party, the relationship between them is called an agency. Here, some more other points I want to give you with regard to the, the agency. Here, when any party delegates some authority to another, that means who, who can delegate here? The principal delegates the, some of the powers to the, the agent, whereby the latter performs his actions in a more or less independent fashion on behalf of the first party, the relationship between them is called an agency. So here, agency can be expressed or implied. So under chapter 10 of the Indian Contract Act of 1872, deals with the laws relating to agency. It is important to know the law relating to agency because nearly all transactions worldwide are carried out through agency. Here, much widely, much widely the commercial transactions, uh, more or less, uh, which has been carried out through the, aspect, uh, the process of agency only, whether it may be big or uh, small. So here, the contract of uh, agency, which is proving very much, uh, uh, it, is pro 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 it is proving to be a, 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 a catalyst role. So here, therefore, uh, therefore, law relating to the agency are important area of business law and uh, relationship relating to principal and agent involves three main parties, that is principal agent and the third party. Here, I have told you with regard to the who is an agent. An agent does not act uh, uh, on his own behalf, but acts on behalf of the principal. He either represents his principal in transaction with third parties or performs uh, 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 performs the act for the principal. So, the question as to whether a particular person is an agent can be verified by finding out of his acts, uh, whether it can be by whether it can bind the principal or not. So, this aspect I told you. That means, uh, what are all the things uh, we have to discuss with regard to the, the what is meant by contract of agency. So, here let us see how the, the agency can be created, which are all the modes uh, and which are all the circumstances we can see the contract of uh, agency can be created. Here, as you know, the, uh, the creation of uh, agency can be created under these headings that is uh, agency by express agreement, agency by implied agreement, agency by necessity, agency by the ratification. Next one is agency by operation of law. So under these headings uh, uh, agency can be created that is here we can see that is the uh, first aspect is the agency by express agreement, agency by implied agreement. And second one is the uh, second one is agency by implied agreement under which we can see there are uh, three varieties we can see that is uh, uh, under this implied uh, agreement we can see agency by necessity, agency by estoppel, here agency by holding out, here agency by estoppel also uh, will come, uh, agency by necessity, necessity will also come, but uh, we can uh, uh, we can. Uh, uh, include agency by holding out also. So here, these are all the things we can see with regard to the uh, the implied agreement. That means here,
HSC by holding out uh, uh, here, we can uh, include this one also. That means here under HSC by implied agreement, we can uh, have HSC by estoppel, HSC by holding out, and uh, in certain books uh, they have included the agency by necessity also that is under uh, necessity there what we can see this uh, under necessity the uh, the uh, there will not be any uh, there will not be anything with regard to the original contract with, with regard to the, the aspect of uh, necessity but uh, it will arise uh, uh, depending upon the situation so let us see one by one here with regard to the agency by express agreement here an authority is said to be express when it is given by words spoken or written so this is a very much important with regard to the how the agency can be created that means we hear yeah, if the principal he he creates uh, he appoints uh, any person as his agent by the by his uh, uh, by by way of writing or by way of uh, uh, expressing uh, his wish uh, through by the words that is common here uh, here you can explain this aspect uh, and uh, here with regard to the certain times the agency may be by implied agreement also so here how to analyze this uh, agency by implied agreement means it is uh, an authority is uh, said to be implied when it is uh, when it is to be inferred from the circumstances that means here how we can uh, infer from the circumstances means here it depends upon the conduct of the principal that means uh, conduct of the, the the agent that means here an authority is said to be employed that is when it is inferred from the circumstances means from from the the conditions so in which uh, how the principal will behave with regard to the certain aspect so under which we have to discuss with regard to the the three aspects that is agency by holding out agency by estoppel and agency by cohabitation here what is meant by agency by holding out here agency by holding out means what happens if a person allows other person to enter into a contract then first person for all the act done in the course of employment he will be held responsible here what happens if a person allows some person to to act on, a, on behalf of him for example a servant what he will do he will go to the shop and he will buy the goods on credit and later the principal he used to give the uh, money to the the, uh, the third party that is the uh, the uh, the dealer that is from where the servant has got the goods suppose here uh, at one time uh, what happens if the servant uh, buy, uh, gets the goods but uh, he, uh, but, uh, but uh, he will not uh, give that goods to the principal so even under such circumstances also even under such circumstances also a principal will be held liable because uh, here what happens he allows that person to act uh, upon him on uh, act uh, uh, be uh, be off of him that means in the course of his employment so here the principal when he allows when he does not say that uh, such and such a person he is no more he is 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 an agent of him so if he does not uh, express uh, uh, the clearly that certain person has not uh, uh, is not working as a agent on behalf of him he will be held liable for the acts of his the agent so this can be seen under the agency by holding out so then the next aspect uh, agency by estoppel so here how this agency by estoppel means uh, what is the meaning of estoppel means if a person by conduct or words spoken or written willfully makes another person a, uh, to believe that uh, certain person certain agent uh, he is uh, uh, he uh, uh, is acting on behalf of him so if a person by conduct or what spoken or written willfully makes uh, another person that another person is third person to believe that uh, his uh, the, the uh, certain person that is agent uh, his is uh, is representing on behalf of him for example uh, for example if an agent uh, we can presume that 
the agent is A. He tells B in front of C. That is, uh, uh, C means he are a principal. A tells, agent tells to the third person uh, in front of C, that is principal, that he is the agent of C. And after hearing the, the aspect, if the C does not object to the statement of A, then suppose B, uh, B supplies or he contracts with A, that is the third party contracts with A, then C has to pay for the, the goods supplied by B to A. So this aspect we can see that under uh, the concept of estoppel. That means these are all things we can see under implied what you call agreements. So this will be uh, this will be uh, this will come under the implied agreement. Certain times uh, here the agency by necessity also it will come. But uh, uh, I think it will be right to go discuss under the uh, under the separate heading. And under the agency by uh, implied agreement, one more thing is there that is agency by cohabitation. Here among whom this uh, agency by cohabitation uh, uh, which will come is it will come among the the husband and wife. Suppose the uh, the society believes that uh, certain uh, what you call a couple who lives in a uh, uh, for a, a certain reasonable point of time that uh, as a husband and wife and uh, they may be living in partners also except uh, the uh, what you call concubine a living in partners living in relationship also if they if they make them believe that uh, the they are the husband and wife if uh, any act done by the wife that means uh, here whatever things what we, in this we have to see that the Real, the act of the party says is very much important. That means uh, here the principal is the husband, the agent is the wife. So the act, the conduct, the bear of the the principal that is the husband, which is which is in the such a way that the society has believed that uh, the uh, certain uh, what you call uh, uh, lady, she is uh, she is the wife of uh, a certain person, and believing that one. Believe in the pre what you call past conduct of the principal and the wife, uh, and with regard to the the uh, the, uh, the transactions with the third party. If uh, the, if any what you call uh, the third party gives the goods or credit to the uh, to certain lady who is acting as an agent for uh, her husband, then also then also the husband will be held liable. So that will be seen under the the concept of agency by cohabitation. So next uh, important uh, aspect is agency by necessity. Here with regard to the agency by necessity, a uh, very important thing uh, which, will, which will which has to discuss that is uh, uh, what is meant by agency by necessity. Here agency of necessity which has been developed from uh, an original and subsisting agency and applies itself to unforeseen circumstances. That means, that is events uh, which could not be predicted. So, uh, unforeseen events uh, not provided in the, the original uh, uh, contract. See here, agency of necessity which will arise uh, 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 with regard to the, the subsisting agency that is uh, original to the, the original contract but which is not provided in the original contract. That means the events uh, which has got the, the, the series of connection with regard to the original contract. That means agency of necessity develops uh, from an original and subsisting agency and applies itself to unforeseen circumstances, events uh, not provided in the original contract. Here with regard to the agency by necessity, there are uh, certain case laws are very much important. That is a Great Northern Railway versus Sheffield. So that is a, uh, that is the case law with regard to the the delivery of the horse. That means uh, the uh, here with regard to the the, uh, the with regard to delivery the delivery was D E L I V R Y. That means uh, don't uh, think of another delivery here. Here what happened? A horse has been booked under shipment uh, in railway, and uh, when it has reached the particular destination which was not received by anybody and uh, the railway company has uh, has uh, meted out the, the expenses uh, of the horse. So here that reasonable expenses has to be borne out by the 
the principal so that is uh, seen under the great northern railway was a shafield so this is a similar case law with regard to the co cochier versus ht uh, that is in this case law that is with regard to the the cargo the cargo aspects that means here there was some decayed uh, the decayable cargo was there in ship so there what happened the captain of the ship he has sold the uh, the cargo for the best price so here the principal has uh, he has to accept the, the the action taken by the the captain so those things we can see under the the agency by necessity that is he should be in the interest of the principal only and next one is agency by ratification here this agency by ratification is also very much important thing here what happens when any act done by the one person on behalf of the another without his authority or knowledge the person on whose behalf the act is done has the has the uh, article for the following options that means uh, he can disown his act or he can be act he can ratify the same that means here if uh, any act has been done on behalf of another person without the authority so same thing uh, we can see with regard to the the agency by necessity but their necessity necessity comes there but here there uh, if, without his authority or knowledge the person on whose behalf the act is done he has got either whether he can deny or he can uh, accept that act if uh, once he ratifies that it is as good as the he has permitted the, such a person to act on his behalf so here what happens for example here a a insures uh, uh, b's goods without his consent for certain amount and uh, if uh, uh, if p or uh, if p uh, that is a principal ratifies the act of his uh, agent that means uh, ratifies the act of uh, a person that is the insurance policy is held to be valid that means here some person he insures uh, some goods uh, belongs to some person without uh, the consent of the the principal so at the time if uh, principal ratifies the the yes act which got to the the insurance then it uh, it is held to be a valid it is a uh, it is a valid ratification so here with regard to the ratification also you have to discuss with regard to the essentials of the valid ratification here with regard to this one also the independent question may also come in the examination with regard to the agency by ratification here there are nearly seven uh, the essentials are there with regard to the valid ratification that means here the ratification should be of the whole transaction that means ratifications should not be done for the part of the transactions that like uh, the certain things are there that means the ratification uh, should not be done to for, for the uh, for the uh, which is against to the uh, the interest of the third person and ratification should be made with reasonable time and uh, the act should be done on behalf of another person the principal should be in existence uh, and competent to contract when the act is done likewise here with regard to the the Uh, the valid ratification certain conditions are there that means when uh, uh, when when the when, uh, when the principal when there is a ratification is there when uh, when uh, when any act has been done by the agent at that time the principal should be in existence otherwise it will not uh, uh, it will not be a valid ratification that means uh, in future some company is going to come up or any other any things are going to come up with regard to any future happening you know, contingency if any ratification if any uh, if any uh, what do you call the process uh, if any agent acts uh, and he makes any contract hoping that uh, in future some uh, company may come up which is not in existence so uh, well, there then also such ratification will not be a yeah, valid ratification so those aspects uh, we have to see under the essentials of the ratifications so with regard to the ratification also which may be it may be express or implied so what we have seen earlier here which may be the which may be the express or implied also here these are the things we have to see under with regard to the the agency by ratification 
then last aspect is agency by operation of law here how this agency by operation of law will be created means it is created by the by the act of the law that means here what happens uh, as you know that uh, company uh, co company is a an artificial legal person so here uh, when the company is a artificial legal per person the promoters uh, who has to act on behalf of the the company so the promoters who has to act on behalf of the company they will be called as agents so here under agency by operation of law we have to discuss the uh, the promoters uh, or agents of the uh, the company and uh, partners uh, or agents of the partnership that means by the operation of law these promoters uh, will act as the the uh, their position will be uh, like uh, agents like uh, in the uh, with, with regard to the company like, like with regard to the partnership firm which is also a, a artificial legal person there the partners uh, are also uh, act as the the principal as well as the agents so these will come under the the agency by operation of law then we have to discuss with regard to the the other aspects here we have discussed the so far we have discussed the modes of creation agency it can be called as model or methods of creating agency that means here by actual authority being conferred on the agent to act on behalf of the principal such authority may be either expressed or implied so this is the very important thing we have to see how the mode of agency or method of creating creation of the agency here by agent's authority to act on behalf of the principal is a situation of emergency so these aspects we have seen by the conduct of the principal which creates an agency on the basis of the law of estoppel so we have seen the law of estoppel and uh, the principle of holding out also by ratification of the agents acts by the principal even though the same has been done without the principal's prior authority so this uh, what is meant by ratification also we have seen by presumption of agency that is husband and wife relationship so these are all the modes of creation of agency then with regard to the 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 most probable question with regard to the termination of agency either they can ask the the uh, the mode of creation of agency or they may ask with regard to the termination of agency first they will ask with regard to the what is meant by contract of agency either they can ask with regard to the mode of creation of agency or they may ask with regard to the termination of agency here what is meant by termination of agency means under uh, which are all the circumstances under which uh, a contract of agency can be terminated that means here we have to discuss which are all the context which are all the circumstances uh, under which uh, a contract of agency can be terminated so here under termination uh, here uh, who can terminate the agency that is also very much relevant here as you know that there are, in the contract of agency there will be principal agent and uh, third party will be there so here the main contract will be between the uh, principal and the the third party that has been what you call created uh, that uh, that has been done by the uh, by the agent so here who has to terminate the agency here this aspect also we have to see with regard to the termination of the agency that means who can take the the uh, the lead with regard to the termination of the agency and one more context here this uh, termination of uh, agency can also be it will it will also can be taken place by the operation operation of the law also so let us uh, uh, see this uh, termination of agency here the termination of agency may be by act of parties or by the operation of law here under the act of parties we have to look look into the by agreement here here this uh, termination of agency will be uh, will be on the here uh, the law allows termination when the both the principal and agent are agreed so here by the act of the participant by agreement between the principal and uh, agent the agency can be terminated that means here law allows uh, the termination of agency when the when the principal and agent are agreed so here that is the first aspect next uh, second one is revocation by the principal that is uh, revocation is taking back the the agency or cancelling the agency so even before completion of the 
the performance of the any task you know, then the principal, the principal has got the the liberty to terminate the agency that means the the principal reserves the right and terminate the contract with the agent at any point of time but here what he has to do he has to give the uh, he has to give the notice to the agent and keep his action uh, he, he should inform the uh, the third party that means he has to he has to inform the third party and he has to give notice to the agent so this is the uh, this is the right uh, thing that under uh, this is the uh, the uh, the way of uh, what you call revocation of the the agency here if uh, the termination of agency has been uh, terminated within the reasonable time then the principal he need not have to give any article uh, any sort of the remuneration to the agent but he has to if, uh, if it is not in the, within the reasonable uh, period of time then he has to give the remuneration or uh, loss to the agent so same thing with, which will be applicable with regard to the revocation of the agent revocation by the agent so this is the rate that uh, uh, provided under the legal framework that uh, even an agent also he can uh, revoke the termination of agency revoke the contract that means what he has to do he has to he has to give the notice to the the principal or he has to submit an application of resignation to the principal within the reasonable period period so if uh, before the actual date that means here the uh, he, here he, uh, if he does not uh, uh, act within the uh, the reasonable period then uh, the principal can reserve this right to of demanding the loss uh, accrued to him by the act of the his agent so these things we see with regard to the the concept of uh, the aspect of revocation by the agent then let us see with regard to the what are the aspects uh, which will be concerning to the, the operation of law here how this operation of law will be uh, will uh, uh, will uh, yeah, will uh, 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 will, uh, will be caused to terminate the agency here there are eight contexts context so eight circumstances under which uh, by operation of law yeah, the uh, the agency can be terminated here what happens first one is uh, when particular object is accomplished that means uh, when uh, when, the, uh, when the certain uh, the uh, certain task has been given to the agent for example in order to sell the suppose uh, the principal has uh, has given a task to the certain person agent to sell his house so when the house has been sold out the the object the uh, the uh, the object for which the task has been given to the agent has been completed so that it automatically the it will be the agency will be terminated next one is expiry of time so with regard to the any any aspect suppose uh, a, a principal he makes uh, some contract uh, with the agent that means uh, to supply the goods to the third party for a period of uh, one year 12 months uh, or 10 months so after the expiry of that time the contract of agency will be the it will be the terminated so here either may may be at, uh, by the by way of uh, completion of the object or uh, accomplishment of the object or the object which has been up, uh, uh, has been completed or by way of expiry of time also the agency may be terminated next one is death uh, death or insanity so by this one also the contract of agency can be completed that means uh, by death or insanity of one of the parties that means here with regard to the almost all the the transactions all, almost all the aspects here the death or insanity the there will be rescind there will be the rescinding will be there so the agency will be terminated by the death or insanity of the one of the parties so the, the, the same aspect will be applicable with regard to the insolvency also and next one is dissolution of company here with regard to the dissolution of company what is the procedure and what is the status of company all those things uh, uh, you know with regard to the dissolution of company what are all the procedure of winding up 
and also all those things. So when the winding up procedure has been started, so automatically all the the contracts of agency which uh, which will be terminated. So that is also one of the aspect we have to see under the the operation of law. And next one is destruction of uh, subject matter. So here what happens? When the subject matter of uh, the contract of agency it's, uh, itself uh, itself it will be it will be no more. Then how can we can expect the contract the contract of agency can be which can be subsist? For example, Ravi employs Kirti to take uh, insurance uh, for his house in Vizak from uh, June 2021. But uh, uh, what happens uh, here? The house. So, for example, here what, what is the problem? I will repeat the problem. Here, Ravi employs Kirti to take insurance for his factory instead of a house. I will take a factory in Vizag from uh, June 2021. But uh, the factory which met with fire even earlier to that uh, proposed uh, the, uh, the fire insurance which is uh, which is going to buy uh, by uh, agent Kirti which has uh, where, where the, the fire explosion has been taken place uh, in the month of May 2021 only. Here Ravi he wants to uh, take the fire insurance policy in the month of uh, June 2021 with regard to his uh, factory through agent Kirti uh, he wants to take that fire insurance policy. But before taking that policy only, even though he is authorized uh, uh, his agent Kirti, his factory has uh, uh, has went in the, uh, has damaged in the fire explosion, then also the contract of agency, that is, uh, it can be terminated by the operation of law. And next one is termination of uh, uh, agency, when uh, principal become alien enemy. So, how this uh, principal becoming alien enemy means, for example, you know, suppose uh, a principal is in India. Suppose uh, uh, here uh, we can take the aspect with regard to the two nations. For example, uh, suppose a principal, uh, a, 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 a principal he is in India and he appoints uh, some person uh, he is uh, happened to be an agent from China. So there will be some uh, uh, business uh, transactions will be there. He made uh, some contract of agency uh, and uh, he has appointed uh, uh, some person from China as an agent and uh, the, the, there, uh, there some uh, war has been broke out between India and China. There will be some uh, uh, war atmosphere will be there. So when such a war has been broke out or uh, some uh, war, uh, war climate has been, uh, has been created among India and China, then uh, the uh, China, uh, the, is, the, at the instant of China, this uh, principal from India, he will be uh, he will be converted into a, a alien enemy. So when principal becoming alien enemy also, then contract of agency will be terminated. So this is the example with regard to the principal become alien enemy, where a person from one nation he employs another uh, uh, person from another nation. Here, there will be, uh, there will not be any good relationship between the, these uh, two nations. And uh, is there any, uh, if there is any war sort of any, uh, uh, any uh, the atmosphere has been created at that event also, the con the contract of agency could not be performed to full uh, to fullest extent. So at that at that time also, the contract of agency can be terminated. And the last aspect is. Uh, termination of sub agents authority so under which uh, this aspect also the uh, the uh, that there will be termination of agency will happen here these are all the aspects we have covered under the termination of agency by act of parties that is agreement revocation by the principal revocation by the agent so here under these two headings uh, the agency can be terminated by act of parties that is uh, by agreement between the principal and agent and a revocation by the principal and revocation by the agent and by the operation of law all these aspects will be there that is the performance of the contract expiry of time death of either party insanity of either party insolvency of the either party destruction of the subject matter principal becoming an alien enemy 
dissolution of company or termination of sub agents authority so this is the aspect we have to see with regard to the the most probable questions in the law examination they will ask you with regard to the what is meant by the contact of agency so uh, when the, when such question has been asked with regard to what is meant by contact of agency i have told you that you, you have to write uh, three aspects that is uh, you have to write uh, with regard to the what are all the essentials of the contract of agency and you have to write the principles of agency you have to write the test of agency then uh, if the question has been asked with the method of creating of uh, agency we have to write uh, the the methods or modes of uh, creation of agency so that is also very much important and they may ask you with regard to the the mode of uh, termination of agency so under which uh, you have to write uh, these uh, the modes of termination of agency so if you remember these uh, 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 these uh, points uh, in this table it will be very much easier for you to face the examination so this is about the the question that is uh, what is meant by contact of uh, agency and uh, what are which are all the modes of creation of agency and what is meant by contact of agency which are all the modes of termination of agency